Hello and welcome back to Studio Dragoon Gaming. I am your host, DragoonX77, and we are back with finally the episode I've been telling you about since the first one. My road dog Anon, and we are going to get into his playthrough. I was actually kind of surprised how well this went because honestly, Anon has a clucky, cluck, clunky, well, a clucky, but I'm ching. Um, move set in this version which is literally the first time he's ever been you know usable as a character and going in my very first experience of playing you know, playing with adon i expected someone closer to uh, sagat with the, the rapid catching tiger knee and the way they they his move set his tiger knee was more of like the uh I want to say Street Fighter 2 uh, joystick motion. So, yeah, it was kind of hard to get out. But before we get into that, as promised, I have two new patrons that I have to give shout outs to. Want to give shout outs to. I have to, have to want to give shout outs to Bradley Higgins, my inaugural first member of the crew of Dragoon. Bradley Stay awesome. Thank you. Loads. You're thank you, man. You're you rock. You rock. And um Zatern Z, if I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. Thank you. The second member of the crew of Dragoon. Thank you. You guys rock. You guys are the reason why this channel is here. You know, you want to be cool like Bradley and Zatern Z? You no, know, donate. Donate to the Patreon. You know, we got all kinds of tiers. Everything, every one of those tiers are a winner. Bronze, silver, and the gold tier, which these two guys have joined on to. You know, you get art, you get shout outs. It's all there for you right there. Studio Dragoon Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Studio Dragoon. And, you know, just help keep the channel on. Help. Keep the lights on here at Studio Dragoon. Now we're going to get into this playthrough. And I was a little, I, I was, I was a little confused as to who I was really going to start off with. But I was like, no, I, let me just try it on. First up is Ken. Another thing about the reason why I started playing with Adon in Alpha 2. Mostly because I just copied and placed the way I played with Ken. Cause I was a big Ken player. Ooh, look like I trapped him in the corner, pretty decent. Uh oh, great at Charo Ken. I don't really understand the AI on this one. Mm. Jaguar kick finish. And this is the first time they like his Jaguar kick was a backwards, uh, Charo Ken motion. Hmm. Managed to get that uh, Jaguar knee out pretty decent twice. But the thing about it is you have to pay attention to it almost, you know, because the motion's just so... It kind of does this uppercut, but then almost all the way... Like... It's a weird motion. I have to show it to you guys. And we've got an alpha counter finish. And I have to... In my opinion, Adon has one of the strongest alpha counters in the series, it's 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 a tough one to beat. I mean, I I think Sagat's pretty hard too. Next up is Chun Li. I really like her stage, the whole Great Wall of China. I don't think they'd actually let you fight on the thing, but I mean, I find this uh this game was more of a throwback to the first one where they just. Brought you to different places all over the world. Like notable places. I love that. And I didn't even start using that combo into uh until Alpha 2 actually. And it was short kick no 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 sorry. Cross up medium short kick into a Jaguar re uh, breed assault. One of my signature moves actually.
It's almost like a copy and paste from what I did with Ken, which was a, a middle cross up short kick into a Sharyu Repa. And it seemed to fit Adon a whole lot better. Jim Lee was one of the few characters that could just really get over that Jaguar, oh, uh, Jaguar revolver. Jaguar 2 finish. When in doubt, always use Jaguar 2. It's a move that just catches, qu I mean, you, you see it coming and you only have a second to react and then, you know, it's already too late. Super Charlie! Next up is Super Charm. You know, I have my issues with the, uh, what they've done with Charlie's story towards five, and I'll talk about that in a later show after this uh, this series is done. Man, I'm bashing Charlie down. Huh. Stay away from a Jaguar knee. He met up with her too. Damn, it's a lot of opportunities to alpha counter that guy for our alpha counter finish. Can't say enough good things about the stage. I mean, to, to say that, hey, you know what? I used to live there. You know, <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of cool to have that in a video game. Oh yeah, when they're stuck in a projectile, Jaguar Revolver will do the trick. Oh man, classic Capcom skip off and a, ja a short Jaguar kick finish. Nothing really exciting going on in some of these matches. Though. Next up is Birdie. I've never been a big fan of Birdie's AI. I just I don't understand where no. And if you haven't played Street Fighter Alpha at all, and are just like a newbie to fighting games, you want to be Birdie. You know, in any incarnation, just fireball him to death, and he's not moving. But if you try to fight him, he will maul you to death. You'll get thrown with that murder chain grab that he has. This is another character I did not care for in, the, in Street Fighter Alpha and kind of grew on to him in Alpha 2. Jaguar, read us all finish. I promise you this guys, when I do get to the Alpha 2 playthrough, I will have a lot better matches because that's, I mean, that's really where Adon, you know, his techniques shine the most there. And the double fist move just, that, that normal is just, it's brutal. You can get caught by it and, and the, 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 the AI just spams the heck out of it. Jaguar Breed Assault finish. Who's the man? Adon. <laughs> it's pretty cocky dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Next up is Guy. And his graded Bushin Simple Kyaku. Ka I'm just slipping up on words a lot today. In all honesty, there are better ways to play with Guy in any incarnation of him on any of these fighting games. I'm. I've never been able to understand why they just did that. It's like most of the characters just had this, you know, yeah, great uppercut, great hurricane kick. See? I mean, he's not doing anything else but that. I mean, this is just a surefire way to get set up. Nice 
It's almost like the AI is hoping you'll you'll goof up a whole lot. He starts off the match with that. I don't understand. In opposed to Alpha 2, he just runs headlong with uh with I don't know the name of the running kick offhand. That's the end of that. Next up is Soda. There's another playthrough I really want to know. I can't wait for you to get, get you guys to get a chance to see this. Soda was a character I up oh, pop up Alpha Counter. I fell in love with on this series. I mean. To start off with, he was in Final Fight, one of my favorite Capcom fighting games. Well, beat em ups. But then it just improved upon him so much. And he walked right into that revolver! Connected with that Jaguar knee. Now the thing about the Jaguar knee is that it's a good combo connect. You know, you know, you get him with a couple of shorts, you know, Jaguar knee right into it. Very useful combo. If you want me to describe who Adon is, he's more of a melee guy. He will, he's very up close. Yes, he can get you from afar, but his strengths lie in just getting you up close, but no, that's what Muay Thai kickboxers and you know, real life are. You know, they're real up close, you know, break you apart type guys. You know, Ryu, uppercut brother number one. Uh, here's the thing with Ryu's AI here against Adon. Most projectile guys, if you if you're using Adon, see see like I just did there, just jump over his uh his fireball. It leaves him wide open. I really believe that Akuma and Ryu have this, like similar AI because the play style. So up oh, there it is, the five hitter. There's sometimes I wish they hadn't took away the pushback effect from the Jaguar Breed Assault, but I don't know, it just... I'm, I learned to make do with it, mostly because you have to understand it. Like I said before, Adon is a melee style character, you know, you know get in close, do your damage, you know. Revolver's just dangerous. Oh, I was hoping for chip damage too. Oh, lose. Yep. Yeah, War Two. It's like a guillotine just cuts their heads off, man. Voice over time, folks. First, I was the student. Now I am the master. <laughs> it's a god. You have taught me well, master. No, I have surpassed you! You are a mere shadow of my skill. It is time. You learn your place! I mean, Ada was just defiant of Sagat after you no know, Ryu beat him. And a little trivia. Ryu didn't just out and out beat Sagat. I mean, that was a hard fought battle. Canon wise, 
and that scar across the guy's chest was a result of a desperation technique. And so God hit me with that deadly nine hit. Man. And that's what I was talking about with that tiger knee. I mean, that knee is such an easy setup move. I would even say in some ways Sagat is a melee character himself. That's another thing. Uh, oh! Good. Yeah, I cut it close in this match, didn't I? No, revolver. Up! Oh, cut it close, but I made it. I mean, Sagat has the tiger shot, but. In all seriousness, this guy is an up-close fighter. I mean, look at that. Look at how the, the AI just takes advantage of that. You have to just punish him with that uh, Jaguar revolver. Man, he, he tries to get up close every time. It targets that not that nine hit. There's the playthrough, folks. Let's get to this ending. I am the strongest fighter ever. I crush Sagat, as I will crush many who oppose me. You could be a valuable asset. Join me in taking over the world! Join me or die. I care not for you or your drugs! Now out of my way, drug lord! No one speaks to me in such a tone! Bison, if you fight me, you die! You know, I really did not like how they came out. But, you know... I'm not a professional, you know, I just do this because, you know, I like voiceovers. I like doing voiceovers, so it is what it is. Anyway, to, to close out, again, I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of this version of Adon. There's just, there's so much clunkiness in those moves to where you can't really get out everything you want to do. And Adon... Anybody who knows Adon, who knows how to play with Adon, knows that he is a combo master. Good gravy. I mean, this dude, you get in close and you're dead. Well, that's all I have for you guys this time. Next up will be Chun Li, and we're going to see one heck of a storyline. And guess what? I'm an Adon master. You bet I am. Join me next time for the next episode of Studio Dragoon Gaming, Street Fighter Alpha. And we're going to do this Chun-Li playthrough. And it's got a lot of surprises. And <laughs> I may even do a fail video because um, it wasn't pretty. And like I said in the beginning, if you want to be like Brandon Higgins and uh, Zatern Z... Get your shout outs here, art, and so much more. Go to Studio Dragoon. Doc, no, sorry, patreon.com forward slash Studio Dragoon. Come check me out on my Tumblr, DA, Twitter, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Later. <laughs>